Good morning, everyone. This is Elisa Medina, Executive Director of Hands of Hope Tucson. I'm actually recording this video in the reception area of our new uh, medical center, and we will be open to clients a week from Monday. But the reason for this video today is uh, many people have reached out to me asking about my response to the new the new law that was just passed in New York that makes abortion legal up until birth and also allows for non-doctors uh, to perform those abortions. And in times of hard news, like the news that was just received, I think it's so important that we respond as Christ followers in two ways. One, uh, we need to pray. We need to pray for the people involved in passing legislation. We need to pray for them that they would um, consider uh, what these laws mean but we also need to be there for people that are actually facing these decisions. Uh, we need to be the change that we so desire to be. And that means not only just posting on social media, not just speaking our opinion, but actually being present for those who need us the most. Um, in our community, we lost 1,611 children to abortion in 2017. The good news is that's a decrease from the year before um, by about 210 lives. So I want us to remain in a hopeful posture. I want us to remember that God is doing a work in hearts and minds. And that work happens when we have conversations with people in love. Um, maybe some difficult conversations, but that we're actually engaging in being a part of the solution. Uh, a volunteer of Hands of Hope posted on social media in response to this and said, she just really challenged people, if you really want to make a difference, get involved with organizations like Hands of Hope, who are meeting women in real time, who believe that abortion is their only option, but when they learn that there's support for them, make a courageous choice to continue their pregnancy. So let us not grow weary in doing good. Hands of Hope will stay the course. We will continue meeting people at their point of need that we might share the love of Jesus with them. And we will extend his love and grace to those affected and impacted by unplanned pregnancy and abortion. And we encourage you to do the same and to join us. And again, be the change you long to see. Thank you so much for your prayers and support. God bless you.